30-minute reviews, beware of spoilers, and exploring hyperspace lanes are all available ad-free. But if you want to support the show, you can go to bewareofspoilers.com and click the support button that's available on the Spotify website. Thank you. Welcome to Exploring Cyberspace Lanes. I am Adam. Hi, Adam. I am congested. I don't know if you Aww. can tell. Can, can you tell? I can tell. I, uh, oh, I had it's therapy. Gross. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, we probably shouldn't have a very long show due to it. Well, and, and you have stuff to do too. Don't don't put this on me. <laughs> I'm gonna entirely blame it on <laughs> people. Are not gonna want to listen to that. <laughs> um, I I what's it called? I uh, yeah, I think I got a cold or something. Um, I'm a little uh, nasally, as as people say. Um, uh, so that's nice and gross. Um. Mm-hmm. And I had therapy right before, so my therapist was like, you okay? And I was like, no. Um, but yeah, Josie does need us to keep it short today. Um, yeah. So I was thinking we'll, we'll table the discussion of the book that we we're going to talk about. Number one, because I fucked up. And unlike some people, I will accept blame when I fuck up. Um, what do you mean, unlike some people? That wasn't directed at you. That was directed. Yeah, it sounded entirely <laughs> no. directed at me. <laughs> no, that was not directed at you. Um, but yeah. I was like, damn. You know, I usually. I <laughs> like, what the fuck did I do? Like, what I know I about? fuck up, but okay. <laughs> like, what, what is he being passive aggressive about now? <laughs> I usually say that I didn't do it. Like, <laughs> um, But no. <laughs> um. What I did was, I said we were going to talk about Dark Forest Rising, which is the second book in the Thrawn trilogy. I fucked up. We did not do Heir to the Empire. Oh, okay. So we'll start with Heir to the Empire. Um, but we'll do that starting next week. Um, did you see any of the news at a New York Comic Con? What? Did you see any of the news out of New York Comic Con? No. Um... So, the issue is, we are still in the middle of SAG strike, so nothing big was going to be promoted. Um, But there were some comics um, that did get announced. Um, Number one, uh, we're getting a Mace Windu comic book. Uh, Mace Windu miniseries, that is from Marvel Comics. We're also getting a Django Fett miniseries. From Marvel Comics. I think Josie is not hearing me. What? (laughs) Is that you responding to me saying, I don't think she hears me? Or is that you responding to, you didn't hear anything? Responding to the whole thing. I think I heard everything that you had to say. Yeah, there's a a Mace Windu comic and there's a Django Fett comic coming. Um, Do either of those things excite you? Nah. Not a big comic fan? I like them. I just... I don't know. Like I, I haven't followed any of them or anything. I just be probably will be cool. What's it coming out on? Where will I be able to read it? Comic book stores and the Marvel app. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say there's gotta be like a digital way for me to Yeah. You don't wanna go to a comic book store, do you? Uh, uh, there's a couple around. I don't mind going into a comic book store. I mean, it's usually also like a game store, so. Yeah, I go to Newberry Comics. If I'm, it was a big chain. I know it's not a small mom and pop kind of thing. but I uh, just don't want to be confronted with the, oh, so you think you're a fan? Yeah. And then, Which is, like, you have know. Like, to prove my knowledge on anything because I, I won't succeed. I don't know. I'm not allowed to like it. <laughs> Yeah, that that's that's the issue. Is that it's like it's kind of like you're dealing with a uh, a gatekeeper. Well, I mean, not kind of like yeah. exactly dealing with a gatekeeper, um, who's gonna tell you if you do or do not actually like something based on how much you've consumed of the of the thing. 
you sound so congested like it's not even funny it's <laughs> really bad <laughs> i wasn't trying this isn't meant to- this isn't a bit this is just i'm sick i know i'm just saying like like the sound is not even funny it's just sad sounding <laughs> Like, oh. it's like, oh, man, he's really sick. It's not like a, huh, he's sick. You don't sound funny. You sound sick. Yeah. People were telling me that at work today, too. Yeah. They're like, you don't sound good. And I'm like, oh, really? Thanks for telling me that. What What is that going to do for me? Like, can I go home? Like, is that, is that where this They're conversation They're sick, stop talking. Like, like if, if the answer isn't go home and I'll pay you anyway, then... Then we yeah, really they should be paying you to go home sick. Like, come on. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so it is a, uh, what's it called? So there's those books. Um, I've read some of the comics. What were you starting to talk about before? And then you were like, oh, wait, we gotta record. You were gonna um, tell me about something oh, big. Th- there's a new AI companion thing here that'll give a summary um, based on what we talk about, and that may help me write a episode description without having to uh sit here and re-listen to the episode the entire way through why do you Um, have to re-listen or take notes it's like i you want to get as much stuff for search engine optimization as possible like so as many topics as you do and you don't want to miss anything so i re-listen to be like okay so we talk about x y and z and then go based on that um yeah okay Um, so, Why not just like name it butts, butts one. Well, no, if if, if something two, if, if if something happens that's like funny, then I'll put that as the title. Um, which can today be butts? No, because we don't want to do anything that's cursing <laughs> or explicit. Um, because you get bumped down to the bottom of the algorithm. Butts isn't then. cursing. No, but I'm afraid it's gonna bump us to the bottom of the algorithm. Um, hang on, mm-hmm. I have, I have like previous episodes uh hey what uh Aren't we already because like i've had hey i got the list of episodes uh on the website well the, the, the website just a link to spotify um but like last week was adam is mad that was the one where i went on the rant about um streaming for 20 minutes um can it be like adam sniffs again yeah because it sounds like i'm doing coke then you're... <laughs> I was just thinking about how you keep sniffling. Um, there's another one. Um, you uh, say mean things funny. to you out of my mouth. Um, which was a quote from you. Um, yeah. I said uh, only you say mean things out of my mouth. Yeah. Um, the Bellatrix Lestrange of Sith Lords. Um, Force Spectrum. Was another good That's one. That's funny. Um. Yes. Um, but yeah, so like the descriptions are different. The descriptions you want to go a little bit more in depth. So that way you can find the episode easier, uh, based on what you talk about. Um, so you want to get a little bit more keywordy there. Uh, um, I guess so. So, yeah. I mean, we want this to work out. So that way you don't have to work at your current job. I don't want to work at my current job. I don't want to work at my current job either. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is great because this is going to be an episode that just sound entirely phoned in because one of us is sick, the other one has to leave quick. Um, we don't actually talk about anything on topic, um, or things that are like tangentially on topic. Um, what was it? Um, we should probably change the description of the show to Adam and Josie talk some shit. Maybe you'll learn something like occasionally about Star <laughs> or touch Wars. on some occasionally about new new to- like news. Huh. And then sometimes we talk about Star Wars. Yeah, occasionally with <laughs> Star Wars. A lot of times it devolves into the 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 failures in my life. Well, you always want to talk about Marvel. Ugh. Well, yeah, because like if we want to get into that, we can get into that because there is there is stuff to talk about with that fucking book that I haven't read yet. But I've been seeing a lot no. of stuff. Um, do you want to talk about console wars? Because I could do a good half hour on console wars. No, this is <laughs> we're supposed to be about Star Wars, and we be- we never talk about it. Because because like we cause always the, talk about stupid Marvel. I can actually do both Marvel and console wars at the same time because it's Spider Man Two. It's fucking up. Ugh. Like the the discourse around Spider Man Two has been awful. Um, because I don't know, like 
maybe it's just I didn't see it when when Starfield came out. But like, mm-hmm. I didn't see PlayStation players getting pissy about Starfield being good. But like, all of a sudden, it's like all these Xbox fanboys coming out of the woodwork to be like, "Oh, look at how shitty Spider-Man is because there's a glitch here. There's a glitch here." And it's like, "Oh, look, Mary Jane's ass doesn't look as good as as uh as as some as one of the women in in Starfield." And it's like, you know, I'm not playing Spider-Man to jerk off, nor was I playing Starfield to jerk off, and and you know. The the dressed woman in the game is not why I'm buying the game. Um, oh, you only buy games that have naked women? No. What? Did, how did you get that logical leap in <laughs> in what I just said? <laughs> you like, said that that's not why you'd buy the game, implying that you would buy the game if they were naked. I. Uh, that is some mental gymnastics right there. <laughs> No, it's not. I, Those were perfectly logical leaps. Like and bounds. <laughs> are they though? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Why not? Um, but yeah. Um, I did. I was gonna do something when I was in Walmart just now, getting um my nasal spray because as bad this as this sounds, this, this is the improvement. Um, because it was worse. Um. Because I got the 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 Arm and Hammer saline, which like flushes out everything. This is it, this is not. <laughs> this is oh, this isn't good content. The other idea no. when I was when I was in Walmart was would like it, it was one of the things that like it sounds good when you pitch it, and then you're like, wait, no, this is dumb. Was um, I went like in... barbecue pizza. What do you mean? Like barbecue pizza. What's barbecue like making pizza on a barbecue? It sounds good, but it's actually dumb. Yeah, I guess. Um, but no, no, the idea was... I mean, I've never tried it. I mean, if you cook it right, I'll see how it could be bad. Oh. Um, but I like... your gripe with it? Like, oh my I, goodness. I haven't tried it. It doesn't mean it's necessarily bad. Oh my I, goodness, I, no! <laughs> you, you're, you went down the rabbit hole too far for it. Of what? Of barbecue pizza? <laughs> yes. This is your fault. You brought up barbecue pizza. I was pizza. trying to make a funny joke, and you were just like, well, I don't know. It could be fine. <laughs> yeah. It's like, if, if you cook pizza right, you're using a brick oven, and the brick oven gets hotter than your regular oven, so if you... <laughs> oh, no. I, I guess sound like someone who's just it's going you're... down fucking Yeah, diatribe. it's because you are you probably have, like, a fever. You're having fever dreams right now. And I've only, I only slept, like, two to three hours last night. So I guess I, I guess couldn't sleep. Aww. I just couldn't get comfortable. But like the uh, the idea you are I near, had... like you are near New York, you could just like go out and beat people up or something, and then go yeah back it, to bed. It, it, it's a it's a little known fact that like New York City is very much like Grand Theft Auto, and you can just go and beat the shit out of people randomly yeah. and just go to bed like nothing happened. Um, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's assuming. I mean, I mean you, most people could probably do that, right? I mean, I mean, you're from New Hampshire. You do have that lunatic uh, governor who's like, you know, the city suck. Like, uh-huh. I saw I, I saw someone driving. We don't have any car. cities. That's true. Um, which is why he's able to say that without having to worry about losing votes. But like, when I was uh, I was driving home yesterday, and I was stuck behind this guy who had a a bumper sticker that said, "Try that in a small t- uh, small town." And I'm like, my brother in Christ, you are in Suffolk County. It's like the fourth biggest non-New York City county in New York State in terms of population. There are several states with smaller populations than Suffolk County. It's a song. No, I understand. I understand what it is. It's a dog whistle about don't let black people in. I understand what it is. Like, yeah. No, I, like no, I get it, I get it, but like you can't. I just say... wasn't sure if you were. I didn't know if you did. Like no, but it's like you're the 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 implication is that you're from a small town, and it's like you're about an hour away from like the the one of the biggest metropolitan areas in the country. Mm-hmm. Like and you're like, oh no, this is a small town. It's like no, it's not. Like a small town is like if you go to the middle of like bumfuck Nebraska and it's like you got a town with like more ghosts. I don't think people. that they're saying that. They're probably just saying that they like the song. Oh I no! Mean, it's, I, way, think it's, it's I think it's not great. Defin- Here's the thing: the song is not something that you admit to liking if you're not racist. But 
some people don't think that it's wrong to not be racist. No, I get that, but like or to it, be racist. Sorry, that came out no. the wrong way. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta hate someone based on that right No, what are you gonna do? <laughs> no. But like it, I just it, got my words mixed it, up. It's the kind of thing where it's like this like if you hear that song and you're like, yeah, it's you're you're unabashedly a racist. Like it, it's one of those like I'm tired of this thing where we're gonna give people the benefit of the doubt because it's like it, it's not like it's a Oh no, I'm not saying that if you like the song, that you're not a racist. I mean, the the music like, video it's pretty, was shot outside of a courthouse. It's pretty horrible. Where they held a lynching, like oh yeah, like it's, yeah. it's, it's not yep. a subtle. It's not like you be like, oh, that was an accident. It's like no, you have to go out of your way to do that. Like, like it, like yeah. everything about that's intentional. Um, yes, I but, agree. But it's like I it, just mean like that person's probably not trying to imply that they live in a small town. They're probably just saying that they're a racist. That's true. Um, and, and then you couple that with the Let's Go Brandon sticker next to it, it's like, all right, I mean, I get, I get what you're about. Like, it's the same person who's like, if they see someone with a, with a rainbow flag on their car, they're like, oh, why are they going to make everything about their identity? And it's like, yeah, and your entire car. Do you have, I, 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 this is something I'm meaning to ask you, because you're up north in kind of bumfuck country. Do you have people up there who, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do, do you have people <laughs> up there who write manifestos on their car? Sometimes you you've seen that though, right? Where but mostly, like... so mostly around where I am, they write the manifestos on their yard. Oh, in their and like That's... out on the street and like their street, like as you're driving up the their road and stuff. There's like signs up on their what their property line is for, to the up to the street, and it's just woods behind it because they don't like actually. Oh, you're you're, that's just you're what in property purple looks line like here. You're, you're in purple yeah. line country. So and then there's just like one. Like, and then there'll be like an opening where it's like, oh yeah, that's the driveway, but it's dirt. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> and um, you don't see the house though. You got to drive pretty far to see the house. So if you drive and up, you'll see their manifesto of like how they're, you know, they. About how the central banks are being run and, and, and how that's going to destroy the economy. Their and... political beliefs and or their um, conspiracy theories or like them being like a, a free stater. See that we don't have free staters here. We we have a lot of people who write a lot of anti-Semitic tirades mm. on their car in marker. Yeah, we have that, but on their yard. And and the flags. I'm assuming you you have a lot of flags on the back of cars up there. You know, not as much anymore as we used to. It's like when I was in high school and stuff. Even then, like people would wave wave the um, Confederate. Yes, the Confederate flag all the time like they just leave it on their trucks and like drive around with it mm -hmm. um but i don't see that nearly as much as i used to we have a lot of people who fly the 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 it's trump 2024 flags which at this point if you're still supporting trump you're just, but we you're, did you're have just nazis we did have nazis protest protest outside of a, a gay um like coffee shop huh in in, in our capital did they in wear conquered mask? Did they wear masks to that, or did they just go up there barefaced? And they're like, yeah. no, barefaced. Wow, barefaced, and um, they didn't out overtly like come out as like racist, but or I think as, the swastika uh, tends as to... being, but they didn't have that a swastika. Oh, okay. it, it wasn't like the protest. It was all the world. other ones. It was like they had all these other Nazi symbols, but not the swastika. The more subtle ones, where it's like plausible yeah. deniability, where it's like, oh, I yeah. didn't know that was a Nazi symbol. Yeah. Or like, what's his name? PewDiePie did that. No, because if the... you know anything about like that, then you know that that's what exactly. those symbols are. But you know, your and average if you, if you, person may not. And if you don't know it, and someone's like, "Oh, that's a Nazi symbol," you can always be like, "I didn't know," or you can be like, "Oh, well, you know, you're reading too far into it." Yeah. But yeah, it was pretty. It's... It was pretty gross. We have a lot of. They were all like they all got ended up getting arrested for like being on, like meth or something. <laughs> that that tracks. So. Um, the the master race for you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> work we got there. a we've got a we've got a we've got a drug problem here too. It, 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 the the master race was like generations of inbreeding. Um, but like it really it... did. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> like this is my I mom, got to see also their booking my wife, photos. also yeah. my cousin. Um, but it's like yeah. the, <laughs> we have a lot of flag people here, where it's like they'll put fl and the thing is too, it's like the entire point of it is to make it look like there are more of them than they are. It's like it's like hunting in packs, where it's like the the animal makes it look bigger to be like, see, look, we have power to it, like. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's like that kind of thing where it's like, oh, well, I don't see any Biden people putting flags in the back of their car. And it's like, well, no, because it's it's a waste of money to do that. Like, I'm not paying $30 to install a hitch on the back of my and car. And also it's tacky and it's, like it's, weird. Exactly. It's like, it's like, I, like, I wouldn't buy a political bumper, bumper sticker, period. Like, I, I don't want, because there are too many lunatics. Like, yeah. Like no, I, I entirely understand that. I mean, I don't even put a bumper sticker, um, like, showing that I worked for, like, a police department ever, you know? Well, I like, I never showed that, because it was like, ooh, that's scary. I could be targeted, you know? Like, the only bumper sticker I have on my car is I have a Giants and I have a, an Albany alumni one. Mm. Like, those are the only I two probably I probably wouldn't have that either. Well, you didn't graduate, so you can't be an alumni. Well, I got that, but I just, I wouldn't, I, I am an alumni of at least one school, so thank you. That's true. <laughs> um, and I wouldn't put anything like that on my car, and I haven't, I don't have anything that's, like, identifying in See, any that's the way. Thing, that is, like, I have the, what's it called, the one that I have, that's a giant thing, I got it for, like, $1.50 at Walmart, and mm -hmm. I, I threw it on the back of my car, because I was like, oh, that's cool, but, like, I, I wouldn't get, like, a, like, when in 2020 my candidate was warren and then i ended up voting for biden because um what's it called because you know you, you, it's not like i didn't get my way so i'm just not gonna vote like that's not how this works it's not american idol but like warren was my candidate i it never occurred to me let me buy a warren bumper sticker to put on my car to be like you know I that. wouldn't even put, I wouldn't even put, like, my favorite team or anything. I don't know. Nobody, I don't need to be targeted for any bullshit. I don't well, want well, people, it, I want my car to look team, like it like just the blends fucking, in. Like, the, 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 the revolution, is it like an MLS team is your favorite team or something like that, I seem to recall? Like. I, I don't really have a favorite team. Well, I, yeah. I guess so. Like, I would love to go to a Revolutions game, like, just whenever. Um, So I guess I so. that's I probably still my favorite. Like yeah. For, for the Revolution. Yeah, you did. Like it, it's I still a, have it. Like, so you could put that on your car. And I don't think anyone would recognize it. Yes, they would. Because like, if, I, if I put if I put like a New York Football Club or a, a New York Red Bulls logo on my car, it's like I, I don't, don't think want, anyone would recognize it. I don't that. want people to see um, anything on their on my car that they can identify as. And then later to be like, like that's that's her. Or identify in late that and or um, identify like a way to lure me if, if they're trying way. to lure you you can pretty easily not be lured but i think stalk is the term you're looking for um no like lured and like um um into like giving out like personal information or like i don't know or not lured into like a dark space or anything i just mean like i don't know I don't want them to know anything about me or be able to guess my passwords. It's the government. They're watching. I sound like a crazy person. And, and, and also, you are the government. That is watching. Sometimes. Um, but yeah. They so think I am. That's for sure. The The idea that I had in Walmart that I ended up not doing before I went off on this little uh, side trip was um, there's a new set of Pokemon cards that everyone's going fucking ape shit over. Um, and I don't understand, so I was like, let me get a pack, and then we'll open a pack, and we'll see what it is, and see what the big fucking deal is. Um. You bought Pokemon cards? No. See, and that's where this kind of fell apart. Number one, this is an audio podcast, and that's not good content for an audio podcast. Number two, <laughs> number two, the issue is the, the cards are so fucking expensive, and the set that, the, that everyone's going ape shit over, they didn't have in stock. It's six dollars for a pack now. Mm. Like that's half the price of a pack of cigarettes. So you'd rather get cigarettes? No, but I'm just saying that like cigarettes have a ton of taxes on them, and uh, you know people pay that much. I, don't know. I was just wondering if you'd taken up a new hobby. No, 
can't say I've gotten into smoking. Um, but yeah, I um, so I I, I was like, let me not do that because I'm like, I'm not gonna. Cause, and the other thing is too, they didn't even have the set because I don't know why everyone's going fucking crazy over this set, but everyone's looking for this set apparently. What is it? It's like the first hundred and fifty one. And oh. it's like it's, it's Is it all, because of the nostalgia? It's gotta be. Um but it's like it, it's not even the first time they've done this in the last decade, because they did it a few years ago too. Pre COVID there was a set that was they re released the base set, but with updated things that way you can't spam Mewtwo and win. Um there's a, there's a deck that's banned because the way Mewtwo works is um if you get him out the original Mewtwo card, if you have four of them, and then the entire rest of your deck is Psychic Energies, you can just use Barrier and spam Barrier and win because they won't be able to attack you, the opponent. So and you, and the opponent loses when their deck runs out. So cool. Yeah. So it's just kind of like it, it's I don't know. Um, I can't follow. Yeah. It, did you play collectible card games as a kid? No. Did you play Beyblades? I had some Beyblades, but I don't think I like. I didn't collect things. Oh, you weren't you, like you weren't into that. And they weren't my Beyblades. They were my brother's Beyblades. Uh. Um, I think you forgot I'm a girl, and I grew up when girls had a lot of social norms that they were expected to follow, like which uh, toys they were allowed to have. I can promise you that that by the time we well, also you're also from you know New Hampshire, where it's a little bit different, but like down here, it's like girls played with Pokemon cards. I played with Pokemon cards, but they weren't my Pokemon cards. Ah, uh, you had a bunch of Polly Pockets that you hated. I liked my Polly Pockets. <laughs> Polly Pockets were cool. My sister had that shit and the littlest pet shop. I had that and then Bratz. And my oh, Bratz the, and my Barbies would play together, the, the, but the Bratz the, always played like the town slut. Yeah, the, I was going to say, <laughs> the, the Bratz doll was the slutty Barbie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, it's like... And the thing is, too, it's like, wasn't the brat doll the one where it's like it didn't have shoes like the Barbie did? Like the entire foot came off and it was like a, it snapped yeah. off and snapped on. And it's like, that's a weird choice. Like, why was that easier than just fucking making shoes that could slide on and off? I don't know. Have you ever tried to get those shoes on? I can't say I have, no. That's why. Um, Give it but, a go and you'll know. But, like, uh, did you know what movie turned 15 this week? No. High School Musical 3. Wow. Does that make you feel... Did you... Were you... I'm trying to find topics that you may have been into. That's not one of them. Okay. <laughs> My sister was really into High School Musical. I, I, I know she... High School Musical 2 backwards and forwards because we watched High that High School movie. Musical was kind of like after my time or like i was definitely way too cool for my high school musical when it came out see it's weird because it's like i think back and it's like i remember being like or thought that i was like i remember being like in in high school and girls still watching hannah montana and being like that's weird like yeah that is weird i was not watching hannah montana in high school like I, I remember that being a, a, a th- and it wasn't like a few. I don't think I like, really watched any TV in high school because I was either getting laid. I mean, like I played. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot oh, of extracurricular okay, activities. <laughs> okay, you showed me. You yes. weren't. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like the the way you were like no, like. Okay, anyway, moving on. Um, I didn't say no. I just went, what? <laughs> but, like, um, the... the so, uh, I did a lot of extracurricular activities, so I didn't really... Like, I don't think I watched a lot of TV in high school. Yeah, I did journalism club in high school. I which did. Which consisted of sitting in, in a classroom on a computer for an I hour did, and a half. I did journalism club. I did a really bad job. We did not do um, I did it for my either. friend. We, Same, actually. We made the uh, yearbook. 
Oh, that see, there was a separate yearbook club and, we and had a separate a... like magazine club that did like a a a, co- a collaboration with the the yearbook. And then we did like a a monthly handout, um, like for our newspaper, sort of thing. Yeah, but, we... yeah, I wasn't very good at it, and I didn't like it. The journalism club was kind of weird because the journalism club was. Really, thinking back, I think it was just the the teacher wanted to get the hours, so we would go and sit in his classroom, and he had computers in the classroom. Wait, did you not get credit for it? Like, was it a straight up club that do, you didn't even get like credits for? Was a club? Oh, mine was like a class. Oh, that's different. Because uh... the newspaper was written by the journalism class, but I didn't take that. I took AP Lit. Oh. So like. You didn't like it, it. It was different, and then like you take the uh, what's it called, the the journalism club. I'm not entirely sure what the point of it was, but besides the 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 teacher getting the the pay for running the club, but we sat there and and me and uh, this other girl, we just sat there and played on the computer for an hour and a half after school every day, and then went home. Oh, yeah. We actually had to like turn things in, and um, I never. Um, like put a lot of effort into it but I still passed the class because um, the few times that the subject was cool enough for my friend who actually likes to write who wanted it like she would just write it for me ah. so she made it so like I did more than just get a C in the class because I did not like it and I had well, all my credits I needed as a, as a yeah she's got a degree in something and she's a producer. She's a producer for a local news TV show. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, we did like. Um, I ended up taking AP Lit in high school, AP English Lit, and um, that was for credit. That class I got fed up with because like she's like, and when we read these books, you have to keep keep a journal of of what it, what it was, and I was like. Who the fuck actually does this when they're reading a book? Like, like genuinely, who the fuck has a journal that they keep notes on the book? Um, so I would never do it. And what I would do is by the end of it, I would write a condescending summary that was like a page long about it. Um, you sound like such a shithead. Well, <laughs> does anything about me indicate that I would do anything different? That we're you ten, wouldn't we're, choose we're, to be a shithead if an yeah, opportunity we're, presented. We're, we're, we're twelve years out. Like, does this shock you at all? Uh, like, nah. um, <laughs> but yeah, it's a like I, I gotta find one of them because it was like it, it really it wasn't good either. It's not like it was well written or anything because nine times out of ten I would write it on my lunch break the period before it was due. Um, and I was like, I don't give it, like, I don't give a shit about this dumb thing that we have to do. And then, like, it's like, instead of reading all the books, my my teacher had us do this weird thing where we broke off into groups, and then each group had to pick two books, and that was it. So like, every my my mom was like, Oh, did you read this? Oh, did you read this? Oh, did you read this? And it's like, No, I read Catcher in the Rye, and I read Fahrenheit four fifty one. That was it. Because oh. those were the two shortest books that they had on the list. So our group was like, Fuck it, we're gonna do those two. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's... Yeah. What was it? And then it's like, I was talking to someone at work, and it's like, oh, yeah, math You just sound subject. so sick. Do I? You sound so sick. Um, I don't want to do another episode. Like, so Adam much so. Blank. Or Adam, like, because a few weeks ago, we had Adam the Weeb. Then we had Adam is mad. I don't want to do another one. Adam is sick. Why not? I don't know. Is that, do you think that's a good idea? I don't know. And it's like, did you, like, okay, so so getting this back to Star Wars to wrap things up. Um, cause, <laughs> cause you, cause you, number one, you made a big stink about it. And number two, you um, you said you have you have to go. We've been going for like 40 I minutes. I do. I'm, so, I do have to go. I have to work. So, like, you've been reading Star Wars books. What would you say got you into Star Wars books what book got you into it? And then when did you start reading like the adult Star Wars books? I only read the adult Star Wars books. And... Oh, you, you, you never read any of the YA or any of the, 
the yeah. kids ones. Oh, I read no. some of the. I read there was like that series with like Anakin and Obi Wan between one and two. Mm-hmm. Um, I read uh, Jedi Quest. It was called. So um, mid grade books. Oh okay, mine um uh it was the Bane series, and it was because very suddenly like the whole universe of star wars like opened up for me and it was very exciting where it was like oh my gosh there's more than just what was in the movies i get more of this and i'm gonna learn more about the bad guys and i don't know it was just very exciting it was very dark and you had an emo phase um unrelated it's not a phase mom (laughs) did you really i was making that up (laughs) <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'd say that um, I'm still in my emo phase. Um, I just I still, don't dress it. <laughs> I still dress the way I did in high school because it's just my clothes still fit. So, like the this is the new sweatshirt that I'm wearing right now. I bought it last week for like 15 bucks at Walmart. But before that, the sweatshirt that I was wearing all the time, that gray one, that one was uh, I I got that in high school as a Christmas gift, and I was like, all right, it still fits. It's fine. Oh my goodness! You're wearing you've been wearing the same sweatshirt for over ten years, but you have every Close DVD that it's ever been made. Not I, priorities I, I, I are only not have where about they need to be. Seven hundred DVDs. I, yes. I I have about seven hundred give or take. Um, priorities are exactly where they're supposed to be for sure. Well, you know what? When I want to go watch the Hunger Games, I can go and find the fucking DVD and I can watch it. Actually, I have two copies wow. of most of the movies because I have a DVD and I have a four K. Um, wow. And they wouldn't buy the DVD back. But, like, for me, I started reading the Star Wars, with the, like, the little kid books. Well, mid-grade was, like, elementary school age books. But then, like, uh, by the time you get to middle school, I was reading, like, The Crystal Star, which is not a great book. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was kind of my onboard into, like, oh, shit, this story continues after the movies. Like, mm-hmm. into that future era. And then um, that was beaten out of me by my teacher at the time. <laughs> um... Because he called me out in front of the class because he's like they used to do this thing where it's like you had to keep track, you had to log the books you were reading mm-hmm. to like show you were reading outside of the classroom, and I was reading books well above my grade level, and more books than other people. But because they were Star Wars, they didn't count oh. according to him. So he's like, and, and that was the thing too. It's like. There was another kid in my class. I felt so bad for him because it's like he was reading manga. We are rehashing some old stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know. Um, no, it's okay. He he uh, he would read manga. Um, and we were in like sixth grade. And it's like, it's, it's what he likes. It's a graphic novel. Why can't you just let him read that? And mm-hmm. they wouldn't let him because like, it, it has pictures. And it's like, you, you have no comprehension of, of like, you know... And it's, it's the kind of thing where, like, if a kid likes to read, don't beat it out of them. Like, yeah, I think they're better about that now than they used to be. I think so, too. Um, where it's like, it, I think, that, number one, there is a, a understanding of the literary value of, like, graphic novels. I feel novels. like we were at, kind of at that age where, like, they were just starting to learn what was okay. They definitely knew what was wrong and what you weren't supposed to do to kids but yeah there was a very like don't beat them anymore that's not yes good. but that's about it that's yeah, all that, that changed that was... was don't hit the kids and that's that's all that had changed so far but you had, the weren't hitting of, us. Like, you had to you had to like tell the kid like you had to like be nice to the kid too was like the stuff and... that some of the teachers got caught up on Right, and, like, that was the new teachers, and then any old teachers that you had would still scream in your face. Exactly. Because mm-hmm. it's like, well, I can't hit you, but I can't so emotionally just... scar you. Yes. Um, And that was still okay. That was still, oh my gosh, if they call my parents and they find out that so-and-so yelled at me, I'm in so much trouble. Yeah. But, yeah. like, that, like, now it's now that, that like... I think if a kid was reading, if a kid brought to school Mouse, that 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 uh, that Holocaust. I mean, depending on where you are in the country, because it's probably banned in parts of the South. But like, if you if you brought that in and we're reading that as as a book, uh, the school wouldn't say that that doesn't that doesn't count. Probably well, if a kid if, if a kid was reading Watchmen, they would probably be permitted to count that as a book they read. Probably because they just want to win because they just want to encourage kids to read. You right. Know? If, if, if that's what they want to read, then let them. I mean, if, if, it, if it wants them to, you know, to do that, then by yeah, all if it means. gets them to use their mind and not look at a screen, that's great. 
And, uh, what was it called? And, and I think that, like, the thing is, too, it's like, see, I was in the gaming club, which is why when you said I was a girl so I couldn't play with cards, I was like, oh, that was, the gaming club was about 50-50. So, um, I did, I went to a club that was mostly boys, and but it was really only through elementary school, and that's because they stopped having a club when I got into, like, middle school and um, <laughs> a high school. Here. You, no no it was more just like there wasn't enough people that was interested anymore and it was the chess club uh i did chess club for three weeks and i was like these people are too were you good bad at, at it club. yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I was because like, people... i i went to tournaments and stuff i loved chess these, like, these it people was are so too, much like, fun and i think it's too it's like i'm like oh no 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 this is like these people are too good at this they have no lies i'm gonna go to the fucking gaming club with my deck of video <laughs> cards like for a respectable game <laughs> you, you were like no too smart nerd bye <laughs> not my smart nerd not my level for nerd <laughs> so, yeah exactly <laughs> I like, my nerds all, I like to hang out with my nerds just a little bit more dumb. Like, yes, exactly. Like, it, it's like, <laughs> it, and I think it's too, it's like the, the chess club, you, you're sitting there and it's like, it, it's not a good social environment. No. Like, because it's like. And the that's chess club was, or the, the gaming club? Oh, the gaming club is, is great. I mean. Well, oh, was what do you mean like, the chess club isn't a good social environment? Because the people in the chess club. You get club to sit there and make the so... other kids cry. They took it so fucking seriously, and I'm like, I'm, yeah. I'm not, I'm not there to take it seriously. I'm like, this is a fucking club, like this is, well, yeah. fun. like this is for fun. No, this like, is where that was where I would learn something new and practice. I'd learn something new at home my, that my dad had taught me, and then I would go practice it on the other kids, so that way I would do better in my see, tournaments me, on the weekends. For me, the the first eight hours of the day were sit down, shut up, and learn something. And then it's like when I when I did a club, it was like I don't want to do that. So like mine, it was like sit down and shut up and let me beat your ass at chess. See, like I did like I did tennis <laughs> in high school. I played tennis in high school. I played like I did like the quiz team, like and, and like that kind of stuff. It's like oh okay, it's you know you you it, it's it's what's fun. a quiz team? Like a trivia kind of thing. Like oh my god, I'm terrible at trivia. So terrible. That's why you like to ask me questions and and, yeah. and watch me flounder and not yeah. tell me you're doing that. So that way I can't have questions prepared for you. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I did like I did that <laughs> for, for all four years of high school. Um. Yeah. And... That made for something fun. Why would you be so miffy <laughs> about it? Uh. <laughs> why are you so mad about it a month later? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you chill, <laughs> bro? <laughs> <laughs> like the entire way home, I'm like, God damn it, I knew that answer. One of the questions <laughs> I was like You're such a know it all. That's not healthy. <laughs> to have that experience and feel that way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but like yeah, so um we'll wrap up there for today. Let's just go over some future plans. <laughs> Well, you said you had to go. We're going up to an hour. I know, but you're like, oh, now I'm being judged. Ugh, I'm done with this the shit. The minute I send you the Zoom link, I concede to the fact that I'm going to be judged for the next 50 minutes to hour and a half. I like, only judge. What do you mean, judge? So, I don't judge you. Okay, so did I ever send you, I don't remember, the, the thing for the Christmas special? Probably. The list of the episode of Nickelodeon shows that way we can do the rankings. Oh yeah, maybe no. I, I've, I'll re-forward it to you. I'll re-forward it to you later because that's what I want to do in December. Um, and I'm gonna see if Peter wants to get in on that too. Um, we're also gonna do the Hunger Games ranking, but we may have to do that sooner rather than later. Um, I have depending. to get my um, I have to get my uh, Kindle the thing on my phone so that way I can read it at work. Do you want to just do the movies then? No. Oh. You want to do movies and books? Sure. You I want to just do book. Just books? But we can do both. You're a multimedia dude. That's true. Um, but yeah, so we have well, that'll be coming up at some point in the near future. I'll have to we'll, we'll have to work out details on that only because. Um, Something may be coming up. I can't say on here because I think it's embargoed, but I think it's cut anyone who can add two and two is going to figure out what I'm trying to not say. Um, 
I don't think that's true. I still don't have heat. I'm so cold. Oh, uh, okay. So, oh, yeah. God. So, the next time we get together, which will probably not be next week, because I do have something on Tuesday and Wednesday next week, uh, the next time we get together, we'll be doing Heir to the Empire, uh, Timothy oh, Zahn's yes. novel from 1991. Wow. Um, That'll be fun. Uh, you watched Loki recently. Doing your uh, Owen Wilson? No, I've been doing that for a while. <laughs> It hasn't gone away. We're on like a for like it's been like a whole year and a half, and I just can't make it stop. Wow. <laughs> oh wow! I did do it see, at work, the and the episode? older people that I work with don't know what I'm doing, and they think I just say "Wow, weird." <laughs> did, did you see the new episode with Miss Minutes trying to fuck Kang? That's the face of someone who didn't see the new episode. You have to watch the new episode of Loki. Why do you do this? Why do you why do you have to spoil things? That's not even the biggest spoiler. You have to watch the new episode. It's That's really not good. even the biggest one, but it's still one. No, it's not. Ugh. It's a small bit in the episode that's like, oh, that's an unexpected turn. <laughs> um and also But now I'll be expecting it. And also it's it's been the, the rule for spoilers is three days. Says who? You just make this uh, shit up on the spot? No, that's been the thing for a long time. No, it's for for who? To Hang to on. people or just to the people that you think that you told? Hang on, let me look this up. Uh, rule for spoilers on TV shows. Oh, and I'm just supposed to know the social public Three days. Like, rule for spoilers. It says who? The Guardian. Doesn't that need to be established between amongst friends? Forbes, three days. Entertainment Weekly, three days. I'm sorry, I don't like just do whatever Forbes says. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, but yeah, we'll wrap up that for today. We'll be back in, if not late next week, then in two weeks, we'll be back with Air to the Empire. So until then, have a great rest of your week. Bye.